Hey guys, RC here. We are back with a Green Hell update. So I just got home from work and uh, was loading up uh, Steam and I got the notification that Green Hell needed an update. So I started looking at it and version 0 0.5.0, the mud building update went live today. So wanted to take a quick look, just a quick breeze through. You can read this on the Steam page. I will browse through it real quick. I've glanced at it, but the new stuff. So there is now a dirtiness system. You can get dirty and then clean up. You have mud and iron, our new building and crafting resources. We can build a mud charcoal furnace and forge. We can craft metal armor. Uh, blades, axes, spears, pickaxe, and arrows for iron weapons. Uh, we can now make storage. I like that. New modular construction, mud walls, mud window walls, mud fireplace wall, mud shed walls, and mud roofs. Uh, we can build a mud water filter and collector. Uh, we can build a shower. There is a new language for the game, Hungarian. Uh, you have a new notebook tab for mud. You have new construction for a mud mixer and a new challenge for blacksmith. So a couple of changes, new balancing. So hopefully they've dialed back the spawn right on top of you, kill you immediately uh, tribal guys. Uh, but <laughs> I'm not positive. Uh, hopefully that's in there. Uh, new models for opened cans, small and big. A new sound for peccaries. A new plank model. You can read through that. Uh, any of these. Light from campfires is now brighter. I don't know if that translates into drawing natives faster or more frequently. I hope not. Uh, let's see. Modular constructions are easier to build. I don't know if that means uh, less, less components. Uh, sometimes getting all those long, long uh, sticks are pretty hard. Uh, campfire ash now takes more space in the backpack. Uh, albaca leaves are smaller. We, they've added butterflies. Uh, the prawn trap. So there was a prawn trap located just on the uh, at Anaconda Island in the new area. And so a lower chance. They've dialed that back and nerfed it a little bit. Uh, Palm and banana roofs can now be deconstructed, so that's cool. Beds are smaller. Uh, new frames can be placed next to modular walls. Longer time to heal treated wound after reloading a save. I didn't know that there was a way to speed that up. Uh, the palm and banana roofs look slightly different. Uh, constructions generate different sound effects depending on where they were hit. You cannot take broken armor off. Uh, other things that they fixed, you can pause and scan through this. I uh, just want to see if there's anything that jumps out at me. Um, don't see anything so far. Water containers not filling up. All right. So we'll scroll down to the end here. Um, a destroyed campfire, the components being blown high into the air, basically where you can't find them. Fire starting tools could be used in shallow water previously. I did not know that. Uh, headshots with weapons other than arrows and spears killed AI instantly. Well, I would think hitting somebody in the head with an axe would probably be more damaging than a spear or an arrow. All right, well, that's... A lot of that I don't even recognize as being issues, but evidently some people had it. So anyway, there's the update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and load up Green Hell here in a minute, and I'm going to start into a 
new save so we can play around with it. So look for that to start on my channel here soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking things out. And I uh, hope you guys are as excited for the MUD update as I am. Talk to you guys later. Bye.